Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and this is your question of the day. So somebody asked me, is it illegal to have bought a song and then burn it onto a CD or convert it onto or into an MP3? Okay, good question. So when you purchase a song, um, you know, I'm going to assume you purchase it through iTunes or whatever music service you use, um, you're buying a license to listen to the song. I would check the um, terms of service that come with it. In general, when you buy a song on a CD, um, you are allowed to create an archival copy of it um, so just in case the original is damaged you have an archive um, so from that perspective it sounds like you would be allowed to um, make a copy and some of these services have terms that say you may copy the song you know x number of times so i would check uh, their terms to see what you are and aren't allowed to do with it uh, because whoever owns the copyright gets to decide how their work is copied distributed displayed performed and what derivative works can be made from it which would include um, how many copies you're allowed to make of a song and if there's any restrictions about uh, what format it can be recorded in. Uh, but in general, making one copy sounds like it's a situation where you're likely going to fall into uh, making an archival copy. Uh, what may be a situation, uh, a different situation where like if you bought a CD, you know, back in the old days when we actually bought CDs and you burned it um, into your computer and then got rid of the CD if you were allowed to keep the, the, the copy of the song you burned into your computer. Um, chances of the copyright holder coming after you are slim, but might that be a violation? It could be, but I've never heard of a situation where someone got in trouble for that. So I hope this has given you a jumping off point to determine um, how you're going to go about answering this question for yourself because watching this video does not create an attorney-client relationship with any viewer. It's merely legal information, not legal advice. If you need legal advice, go hire somebody. I put out new content every week, so please subscribe to the channel. And until then, I will catch up with you later. Take care.